Do you require hot cheese to be happy? Hey everybody, welcome to episode number three of Cooking with Cold Snacks. Jeff here, and we've talked about some cool, you know, main courses, but I thought today I'd give you a simple, easy appetizer to start cooking with when you're sitting at home. So I've taken two tablespoons of butter, melted them in a big old saucepan. I'm gonna sit here and take three tablespoons of flour, and I'm gonna whisk that in. What this is gonna do, it's gonna make a little butter paste, and this is gonna thicken up your beer cheese dip here. So we got our paste going on here over low heat. And I'm gonna take a cup of whole milk, pour that in, whisk that in, maybe turn the heat up a little bit more. Go until it's nice and smooth. And for a little flavor, I like to add a squirt of spicy brown mustard. Now, if you like it a little sweet, you can do Dijon mustard instead, but you guys know I like spicy, so I'm just gonna give it a little spicy brown mustard squirt. Just a little bit. You're not gonna get any mustard flavor from that. It's just for, uh, it's just for doing, uh, giving it a little, little extra kick. Now comes the most important and magical ingredient. Nice and smooth in the, in the saucepan. We're gonna take our Montucky cold snack. You only need about three quarters of a can, so that means you get some bonus sips on the back end. So we're gonna pour that in. It's gonna end up being about eight ounces. Feels like about three quarters of a can. I'll check on that. It's about right. Gonna continue to Stir that all in. You're going to take a couple dashes of Worcestershire sauce. Keep stirring that in. You guys know I like garlic. You can put some garlic powder in there. I'm going to put some salt in there. Remember, you can always add more salt and garlic after the fact to taste. A couple dashes of paprika. And this last one, very optional, but like I said, I like spice, so I got some cayenne here. Just a couple dashes, because that goes a long ways. So now we got our base all mixed together, nice and smooth. I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit. And now comes the second most important thing next to the beer, and that is the cheese. So this is three cups. I'm using sharp cheddar. You guys can use whatever you want, but I like sharp cheddar again because it's got that nice little spice to it, a little crispness. So add that in, take a look. And now I'm just gonna keep whisking this until it's all melted together. So instead of boring you watching me stir this, I'll be back in one minute. All right, we're, uh, we're getting a good consistency here. I'm still drinking my beer. I figure when I finish this, I would uh, take an opportunity to answer a couple hard-hitting questions that you guys have sent us online. So uh, the first one, I've had a couple of questions. Um, yes, I have been working out while I've been uh, been stuck at home and not been able to travel and so I'm on Tucky around the country. So I've been on the phone a lot, but doing a lot of working out. So thank you all for noticing. Second one, and I think I get this a lot more, is uh, no, this is not a mullet, um, at least not today. So you're going to have to keep tuning in and, uh, and see what happens up here with this. So uh, give me about 30 more seconds of, uh, of stirring over here, and I'll be right back to show you the final product. All right, it's been about, uh, about three or four minutes on medium heat. The dip is thickened up really nice. And just remember, as it gets colder, it's going to thicken up more. So uh, if you want it uh, a little thinner, just pop it in the microwave. I'm going to pour a little in here. We're going to sample it a little bit. All right. So I got some uh, pretzel buns at the store that I think are going to be excellent with this, because what goes better than pretzels and cheese? 
but um, you can do anything. I mean, you can do tortilla chips, you can do uh, do sausages, you could even, if you're, you're trying to be really healthy, you could do something like broccoli or cauliflower or something like that. So let's give this a try. That turned out really good. Now, if you're at home, I got two challenges coming at you. Each one of these challenges, the winner is going to receive a limited edition piece of Montucky paraphernalia sent directly from me to your house. The first person who can come up with the most creative thing to dip in this beer cheese dip, you let me know, send it on over to our Instagram or our blog, and you'll win a prize. Second, I've always thought that this would make a great fondue. So the first person to send us a picture or video of them enjoying a Montucky and uh, using a fondue fountain to serve their beer cheese will win a prize as well. So good luck to everybody. Enjoy this recipe. It's posted on our blog. And come back next time when we figure out something else to cook up with Montucky. Cheers.